Hello everyone. This video focuses on how to map an unknown environment using the Total Bot robot. We'll do so using the G mapping package, which basically uses the occupancy grid mapping algorithm. So to get started with it, first we need the Total Bot world. So to launch the Total Bot world, I've taught it in an earlier video. If you don't know, you can go back and Look at our suggested videos over here as well. Gazebo, Turtlebot Gazebo, and you launch Turtlebot World. Here we have the Gazebo World launched. This is the basic world. The next part. We now need the teleop function. Teleop will basically allow us to move forward, go around in the environment. So to launch it, we'll use ROS launch turtle bot underscore teleop. And let's see what all we have here. So we have four launch files. One of them is using keyboard, then the other is using Logitech, then PS3 teleop and Xbox 360. We'll use the keyboard one. If you have anything else, you can go ahead and use it. Keyboard underscore teleop dot launch. Okay, so our file is launched. Let's see how it goes. So when I press the comma, it basically go in the backward direction. And then I press L and it basically turns around. Okay, uh, now let's launch the G mapping package that resides inside the ROS or TurtleBot gazebo package and we'll launch the G mapping demo. So these are basically the parameters which the G mapping package is currently using. And you can go ahead and change it. To know more, there will be a next video coming up. Also, if you want to know more about occupancy grid mapping, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get a particular video on that which teaches you the maths and the theory behind it. The last one is our Arvis. Arvis will let you visualize it. Basically, it's a 3D visualization tool for ROS based application. Let's launch it. Okay, so we have our Arvis running but we don't see the map or the robot. You need to add both the things over here. So let's load the map here first thing and then the robot robot one two things but we still don't see the map we only see the turtle bot so to see the map inside the topic you need to go and select map here you go you have whatever it's scanning currently let's move it around and scan a bit of the area for that you need the teleop let's see if it's inside the gazebo environment it actually moves around or not so i'll pull this over here and i'll start yeah yeah i'll pull this over here and i'll make it go around you can see it's turning around and starts mapping more okay you can make it go forward or backward. I'm just making sure so that we get some points in which we realize, okay, yes, it's actually mapping correctly. You can see both the things happening in gazebo and the Arvis. So how the map is being formed is basically dependent upon this uh, parameters. We can tweak it more and get a finer map. Let's let the robot move around a bit more. And then we'll compare the map. Okay, so let's see. If you can see this particular line, this particular block is what it's seeing over here. This is the circular figure which it's seeing. 
then the two squares and then again one box this black edges are the one it tells it that it's an obstacle the white one is the free space and the green one is unknown environment which it says it has not mapped yet let's save the map somewhere so i'm inside my catkin workspace src and i'll make mk uh, a map folder which will be done by mkdir make directory maps i'll go inside maps and run this particular command that will be ross run map underscore server Ma let me one second yeah map underscore saver dash f and the name of the map i'll say map one okay it tells me it's done let's see if it's done or not so i'm inside catkin workspace src maps oh, you have the map over here map pgm file and this is the map dot yml this was all for this particular video if you have any particular concerns about this video let us know in the comment section below we are ready to answer it please do like and subscribe our video it just gives us a bit more of boost to make new videos every monday wednesday and friday keep watching robometrics